we got a couple other guys that have had uh, uh, different kinds of surgeries. We had four surgeries, actually. I don't, I don't know if I want to give that report or not, but we got some guys kind of banged up. And tell you, uh, that's been a little bit, a little bit scary. And then, you know, we're still dealing with COVID a little bit. We've got a couple of those kind of deals going. And that started to kind of bounce in on us. And I, last year, we were all vaccinated. It's too hard to figure out exactly what vaccinated is now. I think we might still be, but at the same time, when you get this kind of booster and you got another booster coming out next week and Pfizer say they come out the other, and then Moderna is, is suing Pfizer. I don't, <laughs> it's kind of hard to keep <laughs> a score on who, what, where we are as far as vaccinations are concerned. But we need to be vaccinated. We know that much because this thing is still out there and we've got some issues that way too. So, it's all good. We're trying to get ready to go. UCF is really, really good. They beat the hang out of the Florida Gators last year. You see them guys beating up on each other. It just, you know, a little boy like us, you know, we just stand there watching these two big giants fighting. And you say, ooh, <laughs> I don't know if I want to jump over there or not. You know, we might want to stay back over here, see if we can stay in our lane. But we're going to go down there and see if we can play these guys. We play them on Thursday night in uh, Orlando. Uh, and, uh, you know, they've got, They've got this, uh, we think they're going to start this Plumley boy. The boy that used to be at Ole Miss, he rushed for about 200 yards against LSU that year when LSU ran, won the national championship. So, and he can fly. So, it'll be interesting to see exactly how we figure how to stop him because Coach Jonathan Saxon and his crew, our defensive coordinator, has done a fantastic job of stopping folks. But you know what? You know, he might have the biggest show of all this coming week. So, the, we got our work cut out for us and and then after that, we go back and play Bethune, and then we have open week, then we play at A&T, and then we play at South Carolina. And then, then we did you see FAMU the other night? But then we go at, then we play at FAMU. Well, no, FAMU comes here. Yeah. Somebody got to come to Orangeburg. So we got FAMU coming in Orangeburg about week six or five or somewhere in there. Game five, week six. So it's all good. We're looking forward to it. We want to get started. We think we got a pretty good look. Little team here, but at the same time, you know, we might get the stuff and beat out of Zerda. We're gonna see. 